Last week, I could barely discuss the drama and controversies of Todrick Hall, YouTube's crown prince of cringe, without getting sidetracked by his first unhinged house tour video, which had just the kind of interior design you would expect from a theater kid with a can of paint. When he showed us those VHS cases stuck to the wall, I was like, we are really down at Fraggle Rock right now. But it's a more recent video from February of 2021 titled, Bought My Dream Home, Full Tour, that's currently involved in a drama and controversy of its own, since the stunning mansion that he's claiming to have purchased is one that he's actually paying rent on. Except he actually stopped paying rent two months ago, so now he's actually getting sued for $60,000 by the homeowner. Actually, actually. And actually, there were signs all along that the Broadway-themed ruby-slippered real estate investment that we're about to get a tour of was actually a horse of a different color. And now, it doesn't take perfect hindsight to see through Todrick's shout outs for discounted furniture rentals, him putting up with what is clearly someone else's decor, or his unusual Amazon wish list, and the fact that he's requesting fans send him wine. So you supposedly put down so much cash on your $7 million home that now you can't afford to fill your new wine cellar? It hurts my heart to watch someone struggle that way. And I'm referring to myself as I sit through a whole new tax bracket of tacky wall hanging. In another Todrick Hall centered installment of Clip Breakdown. <laughs> Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me <laughs> once again on my channel for another installment of Clip Breakdown. This is the playlist where we dive into our favorite movies, TV movies, and other such content here on the web to decide if it's a social media star who's telling the truth or who's fibbing to look rich. Before we talk about Todrick's deal, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see even more Clip Breakdowns on influencers and influencers like this. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click subscribe, baby. You don't want to miss a thing, mama. I meant to show you clips from this little house tour during my last video when I showed you his previous house tour, but I could not find the video for some reason. I must not have been trying that hard. At least not trying as hard as Todrick is trying to look cool in this video where he's got like drone footage, got like steady cam operators. Like he really thinks this is MTV Cribs. Hello everyone. Ah! I have been wanting to buy a home for a very, very, very long time. I saw over 50 homes to decide to get this one. The first 50 weren't quite right because I couldn't afford to buy them, but then I discovered this furnished rental on apartmentfinder.com and loved how it didn't require a down payment. When I first saw this tour on Reddit, I believe, I think I was just like, okay, so he spent a lot of money on a house to the point where he just bought everything that was with it, which isn't unheard of. Like you can work in getting all of the furniture if the homeowner wants to sell it to you into the purchase agreement. But usually, especially if the mansion is $7 million, like Zillow estimates this one to be, you leave some budget to customize your gorgeous new investment to your taste. Like he's legit like, and this is some wrought iron sh that I left up when I moved in. Walk in, there's this huge display right here. I love this so much. And I love that there's like a little Andy Warhol thing. Wait, so we're supposed to believe that you just loved that tiny statue of an Andy Warhol soup can so much that you had to put it into your final offer? Because I checked the website that Todrick claims to have purchased all of this furniture from and it returned no search results for the term soup. Oh, you didn't know about Todrick's furniture? He got it all from Vesta, the undisclosed sponsor of today's secret leases. Shout out to Vesta. Vesta pretty much, a lot of this furniture was here and Vesta allowed me to purchase this furniture from the house and they gave me a really great rate. I love them so much. If you're looking for some furniture for your place, um, you gotta go check out Vesta. They do all, all the celebrities homes in Los Angeles. Right, all the celebrities who are selling their houses and need staging furniture. For those who don't know, a staging company will rent out home furnishings temporarily so that it can make the inside of a house look nice while it's being toured by potential 
buyers. It seems like Vesta does this with luxury pieces so that a buyer, if they love the furniture staging, they can lease all of the stuff in there or lease to own. Or you can purchase it outright, but I'm guessing Todrick is making monthly payments since he just said they gave him a great rate, although that could mean interest on a line of credit, but even then you'd be bragging about having debt. So much to unpack here. Cool couch though. So to me, this kind of makes it clear like Todrick is renting this mansion and he's leasing the furniture because he doesn't know how much or what he's going to need when he moves out. Like if you're not sure how long you'd be in a mansion, you'd be like, I can just leave all of this crap, but it's expensive, I believe. So you're not really saving money over just buying it outright. But anyway, Todrick is apparently plugging Vesta in this video out of the goodness in his own heart and not because of some handshake agreement to provide a free shout out in exchange for a discount, since that would essentially be an unprovable FTC violation. There is no law saying you have to disclose that something wasn't sponsored or gifted if it wasn't. However, he's literally promoting their services to an audience and then admitting that they gave him a great rate, which would arguably be him having a vested interest in giving a good review to them. Even Sephora reviewers have to disclose if they got a product as a free sample before they can give it five stars. If uh, Todrick is saving any money by agreeing to promote Vesta on his YouTube channel, that needs to be disclosed. He's done many major endorsement deals, so we'll just have to assume it's uh, an organic brand mention because he would know better otherwise. And again, no way to prove it. So anyway, he still has the piano he can't play. He's like, my baby grand. Do, 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 do. It's like, alrighty, maybe some lessons, maybe some lessons. I'm just kidding. Not like I can play much more than chopsticks either, but it is a little weird to have a piano that you cannot play. Like, who's gonna play that? Who's gonna play that? At least make it a player's piano where it looks like a ghost is playing it. And then you could be like, that's my friendly ghost butler. I don't pay him to work for me. <laughs> that's sort of Todrick's going rate. There are four more of these playbills because I save every single playbill from every show that I see. My kinky boots are here. I'm never gonna let go of them. Why, what's the deal? Are they on life support or something? Cause they're looking a little saggy trying to stand up on their own in that Beauty and the Beast box. I feel like he wants the decor of this house to look a lot more custom and intentional than it actually is because he couldn't even order a boot stand on Amazon or put it on your wish list. If those are your prized possessions, why are they hastily shoved into a glass case like Annabelle? God, well, let's just breeze through this kitchen cause it's not the real kitchen. He'll explain it. I have my waitress costume for and it's in the hallway right here. Okay, first of all, it's not really in the hallway as much as it's in the kitchen. So to us, it just looks like you have a framed button up shirt from Target inside the room where you prepare food. Or I'm sorry, where your assistants do. This kitchen is the kitchen for the assistants because I have two assistants that live in the house. What would you do if you were one of Todrick's roommates and he put out this video calling you his assistant? I mean, maybe they're really his assistants, but he makes it sound like they're his live-in help. When in reality, they're probably either contributing to paying the rent there or living there for free in exchange for running errands for Todrick while he makes mansion themed TikToks all day. Some more signs of not ownership inside of this theater. And I love this refrigerator that looks like an amp. Sounds like you kind of have to love it since it belongs to the person who owns the house. Good thing his rental property has a similar funky aesthetic to yours because once again, Vesta does not lease out novelty mini fridges. I checked. Wait till you see this pool. It's gorgeous and obviously expensive, but it also kind of reminds me of something. It's, I guess you would call it my backyard. Todrick, babe, I'm really happy for you, but this first pool party is gonna look like SeaWorld replaced all their orcas with underemployed twinks. I know Sherman Oaks is perpetually in a drought, but whoever designed the back of this house was like, what is grass? Why would we have that? I used to work in Sherman Oaks, so I could have been neighbors with Sherman Todrick and his cool bar area that we have to fill. I just recently shot a TikTok with Garrett Clayton dancing on this bar. Oh, that sounds so intriguing. Tell me, will it be making the rounds at film festivals this year or next? Todrick doesn't just do a name drop, mama. He does the headshot plop. 
You better give that Disney Channel gay his flowers. Slide a picture in picture in and right back out. <laughs> That's Todrick's version of sex. <laughs> Why? Ah! Wait until you see some of the items on Todrick's Amazon wish list. It's like, not only should you be buying that yourself, but you could also be earning rewards on all of those purchases with the sponsor of today's video, Fetch. Fetch is a completely free app that lets you earn rewards on anything you buy. Just scan any receipt or e-receipt to start earning points and then redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon and Visa gift cards. Like, uh, hello, free money. It's super fast, super easy to use, with tons of reward options, but what I love is that I can do any receipt or any e-receipt. Like if I go to a restaurant, I'm getting points for that. That means my uh, extra order of Bloomin' Onions is basically paying for itself. Download the app now and use the code NickD to earn 3,000 points when you scan your first receipt, courtesy of me, baby, and fetch. But this is a limited time offer, so don't miss out. Don't say we didn't get some reward out of watching this together. Now let's get back to it. Okay, everybody, get ready. We're about to be called to action as fans of Todrick, or as he likes to call them, Todd Dicks. If you want to send wine, the, the information is in the description below. You can just send it attention to Todd Recall. Here's the wine cellar. Right now it's just prop wine, but hopefully, you know, my friends have sent me so much wine. Am I to believe that Todrick has either chosen to purchase or continue renting 1,500 prop wine bottles because he's simply too busy to go to Costco on his own and that's why he needs us to do it for him? It's also not right that he's referring to the fans that send him gifts as his friends friends. What in the mind hunter mass manipulation are you trying to pull? And can you really call this house your dream home if it has an expensive wine cellar for wine that you don't even have and a hundred thousand dollar pool that you said you don't even really like to swim in? If you're actually buying a house and it has a wine cellar like that, it probably is because you already have an expensive wine collection to put in it or you're so rich you could fill it yourself or you would already have a plan to turn that space into something more useful to you. Which for Todd would probably be like a Broadway playbill panic room for him and all those precious booklets he loves so much. It's literally so embarrassing. If you don't want to send him wine, don't worry. There's other options. I'm not having a traditional housewarming, but I have set up a little registry on Amazon. So if you don't want to send wine, but you want to send something, you can click on my registry only if you want to. No worries. Okay, well, I'm a little worried because looking at this list, it seems like you don't even have dish soap as of your move-in date. And all the place settings you got from Vesta are crawling with the E. coli of like three open house showings that it took to get this place rented. Again, this came out in February of 2021. We were still very much at the height of the pandemic. I'm not understanding how Todrick didn't see it as tone deaf for him to make this whole video bragging about how gorgeous his dream home that he bought is, and then still asking us to buy bulk items for him to like have regular stuff in his house, like cat food. There's a national unemployment high. You get it. <laughs> Let's look at some of the items on this list, shall we? We have 200 little two ounce plastic disposable portion cups and then a stainless steel condiment caddy. What, are you opening a 1950s diner in your half bathroom now, Todrick? Here we have fabric softener, trash bags, paper towels, bottled water, laundry products, canned cat food. Do neither of your two live-in assistants have the Target curbside pickup app? It's very easy to use. I would imagine that truly wealthy people like Todrick is purporting to be would like likely for one not have a housewarming gift registry because that's not a thing. Wedding, yes. Baby, sure. I moved into a house with such high monthly payments that I can't afford cocktail napkins. That feels like something you should have to handle on your own, Broadway baby. Broadway baby boy. What else do we have here? Oh, just some Listerine propane heater. Oh my God. Todrick, I'm trying to decide if I should pay for rush shipping on the power washer you want me to buy you. So tell me exactly how urgently do you need your hose down. <laughs> uh, his house has an elevator. Oh, we know Todrick loves a custom Beyonce bedroom moment. To me, having a bed that's like a theme is very childlike to me. Or let's say maybe not up to the caliber of an adult homeowner of a $7 million home. But again, that's all a matter of taste. Good taste. You're going into where all the magic happens. I wanted to have a bed fit for a king. And so I had my boy Marco Marco and my boy Matt Sokoler collab. I created in the concept for a bed and Marco brought it to life.
I'm not saying it's uncool to commission a custom plywood bed frame upholstered with knockoff Louis Vuitton pleather from Etsy, because I wouldn't even have time to finish that whole sentence before Todrick's cats probably start putting their claw marks in the vinyl and make it look a little less expensive than the stunning $300 worth of materials that it is. The closet looks nice. The first night I was in here, I got a little air mattress and just like laid in here on the floor because I was like, I would rather sleep in this closet than to sleep in my room. And also because your cheesy bed frame hadn't been built yet and you didn't complete enough cameo requests that week to buy a Casper mattress. I love a master bedroom, but this house is not my style. It's a little cold. I want to put a huge hot tub over there eventually so that I can have like a little private hot tub. What is more sexy than being able to hop off of this bed and then come over here and have a nice little, you know, adult romantic moment um, fully clothed. Todrick, please don't get into steaming hot water wearing a sweatshirt shirt and knitted cap. That's going to cause the proteins in your brain to denature. And we're still not sure how many of those you use while writing song lyrics, so we gotta play it safe. We gotta conserve. There's one more floor. A three-story home? Oh, Jesus does exist. <laughs> this is the gym, and I have made a vow to like really focus on my fitness, so I got myself a new treadmill and a new machine over here so I can work. I don't even know what this machine is called because that's how much I don't work out. It also makes it clear that you didn't buy or pick out that machine yourself. So I guess the logic of all these lies you're telling is the other thing that doesn't really work out on this third floor of your home. Also, I'm not a gym rat myself, but I do happen to know that that particular machine is called a f bench. Although I've never seen one that has a dumbbell on it like that. So the previous owners of this house must have had really strong penises. Oh, by the way, we do know the owners of the house because they're the ones who filed the lawsuit against Todrick, not only for back pay. So it's 30 grand a month in rent and he owes two months of rent plus a thousand dollars in damages for every day that he doesn't vacate the property. It's a pay or quit notice. So either you pay up or you got to get out. Thank you so much. You have no idea what it means for me as a gay black man in 2021 to be able to own not just a home but my dream home I love you so much and I cannot wait for you to see what 2021 has in store fair enough just wait till 2022 cuz that's gonna be a rocky start for you babe <sighs> it's so tough because again I think it's great to see black queer people succeeding but it makes me sad that anyone would feel the need to lie about those achievements in order to validate their success online Patrick has so many other accomplishments that are like incredible and worth holding up. And it just kind of, to me, feels like a symptom of this materialistic culture that someone who's in his mid thirties would go through all of this effort. And again, maybe in his mind, he's rationalizing it. Like those old episodes of MTV Cribs, a lot of the celebrities say those were rented mansions from the production. So it might seem like kind of a white lie, but you're actually living there. You're actually posting social media from there and creating this narrative of someone who is able to accomplish this thing when you honestly weren't able to, and that's okay too. It's a lot, it's a lot. Did you know I got new merch? New merch. I got fans and goodies, new hats and hoodies and cute shirts. Well, the price is all right. And the fashion's a bomb when you shop at DodgerCall.com. So it's official society, the gays are bashing back. And this is what it's gonna look like. Gaggles of us swarming you with tight harmonies, self-produced promotional jingles, and the blatant infringement of intellectual properties from the Walt Disney Corporation. Mm -hmm. And that's all the homeowner wrote. What do you guys think of Todrick Hall? He's really having a rough start to the year. I don't want to like ostracize or blame Todrick for like putting this lie up. Obviously there's some reason he felt the need to convey this image and I feel for him there. We all have things. Doesn't seem like a real healthy place to be or perhaps not a, a place that I wanna look up to because once again, the things you have and the cool houses, that might look cool on TikTok, but once you get to a certain point, you just want a job that you're happy doing every day that can support a comfortable lifestyle and then like living within your means is really fun too. So the keeping up with the Joneses thing I think is a little hard to reach or it's a little hard to 
shake people out of if that's what they're really focused on. I know it's so hard, especially with social media, we just want stuff and I, I have those moments as well. And it feels good to buy stuff, but it doesn't mean that you're not a good person if you don't have stuff or that you're not as successful as Todrick if you haven't a house to show like this. Like apparently neither does he, so just goes to show. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of this materialism and the culture of it in the comments below. But most importantly, big thumbs up if you wanna see even more content on your favorite YouTubers and their controversies. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you wanna see even more videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. Also, I've got merch available and a Patreon where you can access exclusive bonus episodes and virtual watch parties. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you so much for getting into this custom Louis bed with me today. <laughs> I will see you next time.